I don't really know what Boston Dynamics is doing, but I'm kind of terrified. The robotics company has made a couple of robots recently that are so agile, so human-like, that I can't help but feel like the killer robots from Black Mirror and Terminator are basically becoming a reality. Future generations will probably point to 2018 as the year it all began. Like all good robot uprisings, it all starts innocently enough. Last week, Boston Dynamics showed off a video of its Atlas walking robot doing parkour. This abomination hopped over obstacles with ease, balancing all its weight on one leg before taking its next inhuman step. The Atlas has enough processing power to use its arms, legs, and torso to balance and take steps as high as 40 centimeters. That's almost a foot and a half. It also uses computer vision to pinpoint its next step and figure out where to go. Probably in the direction of enemies, like, you know, wayward humans. Then today, the company shared a video of its spot mini robotic dog twerking to Uptown Funk, no less, ruining that song for me forever. I have so many questions. Like, why would a robot dog need to learn to twerk? How the heck is it dancing better than me? And why does it look so freaking creepy? Probably because midway through the video, the robot dog's head unfolds and extends, opening its jaws wide, presumably to grab some tasty treat. But it looks like a robot snake decided to latch itself onto a robot dog's body to become some sort of horrifying chimera. It's an abomination that even Futurama's makers couldn't dream up. Paranoia aside, these two demonstrations are excellent examples of how far these machines have come. They could be put to good use, like saving people from collapsed buildings or a landslide. That dog isn't as cute as Sony's Ibo, but it sure seems a lot more agile and flexible, meaning it could, I don't know, rescue more cats from trees, I guess. Frankly, I really hope these robots don't get exploited for sinister ends, but I have very little faith left in humanity. For now, I'm just going to grab some ice cream and watch these two videos on repeat, trying to identify any signs of weakness before the killer robots come for me. We'll see you tomorrow with more Engadget Today.